Welcome to the next video in the Boswell's College Maths Induction Playlist. Here we are taking a look at factorising simple quadratic expressions. You'll notice that I didn't make specific videos for indices and that's simply because um, the four videos that are already on the YouTube channel uh, are suitable for you and you'll notice as well that we've not looked at factorising simple expressions and that's again because there is a video there that is suitable for you. So here I've got um, x squared plus 17x plus 72. So this is what we call quadratic expression. These are really really important at A level. They come up all the time and it's really important that you are comfortable with dealing with these things. So what we're going to do is we need to factorise this or put it in brackets and this is going to go into double brackets. Now I need to find two numbers that will multiply um, to make 72 but will sum to make plus 17. So I need two numbers where the product is 72 but the sum is 17. So those two numbers are going to be 8 and 9. So plus 8 and plus 9. So my answer here, factorising that would be x plus 8, x plus 9. 8 plus 8 multiplied by plus 9 is going to give me plus 72. And 8 plus 9, when we sum those two together, we're going to get plus 17. So let's take a look at the next one. Again, we are factorising, so we're putting it in brackets and it's double brackets again. So we've got x squared minus 8x plus 16. Um, here's where it starts to get a little trickier. We've got plus 16 um, for our product but our sum is going to be minus 8. That, what this tells us, the plus here and the minus there, we know that we've got a positive product. So it could either be two positive numbers or two negative numbers because the sum is minus 8 that means that it has to be two negative numbers so which two negative numbers could be multiplied together to make plus 16 but sum together to make minus 8 minus 4 and minus 4 um, oh, we could also um, write x minus 4 and x minus 4 as x minus 4 oops that doesn't look right fix that. We could also write x minus 4, x minus 4 as x minus 4 squared. Okay, next one. x squared minus 5x minus 14. So again we're looking for two numbers that will multiply to make minus 14 but sum to make minus 5. Those two numbers are going to be x uh, plus 2 and x minus 7. And then lastly, x squared plus 2x minus 48. Two numbers that will multiply to make minus 48. Uh, they're going to be, uh, and sum to make plus 2, that's going to be plus 8 and minus 6. So x plus 8, x minus 6 and plus 8 multiplied by minus 6 gives us minus 48 8 minus 6 gives us plus 2 now spotting the two numbers that work for this what I suggest that you do is you start with the number on the end because there are only a finite number of ways that you can multiply two numbers together to make minus 48 whereas if you're looking at the sum there are an infinite number of ways that you could make plus 2 so start with the number on the end. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do now is just put up um, four questions for you to take a look at. What I suggest you do is you pause the video now, attempt the questions, and then the answers will be on the screen shortly.